Hi everyone, it's Marissa with Bumblebee Apothecary. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make ghee, or clarified butter. So ghee, also known as clarified butter, is one of the things that you use in the first stages of the GAPS diet. It is clarified butter, meaning that the solids that would contain lactose have been removed and there's just the golden pure fat left behind. So it's really easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do it. The butter that you want to use is preferably grass-fed organic butter and that's what I'm using. That gives you the most beneficial nutrients that way if it's coming from grass-fed cattle. So the first thing that you want to do is to just um, unwrap your butter and put it into a shallow glass baking dish. You want it to be shallow because we're going to be carefully pouring off the ghee and keeping the solids behind. The next thing that you're going to do is put this into a warm, gentle oven. You're going to want your oven set to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and you're just going to put the butter in there and it, it'll depend on the size of butter piece that you're melting. This is a an entire pound so you just have to keep an eye on it and once it's completely melted then we'll go on to the next step. Okay so now that the butter is completely melted you can see how there's the golden part on the top there's also this foamy kind of stuff and then there's also a layer of some white that has settled to the bottom. So the white at the bottom is what we want to leave behind because that can contain milk solids and lactose and things like that. And we just want just this golden part on the top. So to get that, we're going to slowly and carefully pour the top layer only into our jar. And you just want to watch and make sure that none of the white from below is starting to sneak through. And the key is to just go nice and slowly so that only the top layer comes. Partway through you can switch and turn your pan around and try pouring from another corner. And that'll oftentimes help you get the last as much of the top layer as you can without the, the white trying to sneak in. And you will end up probably leaving some of the golden behind, but that's better, better to be safe. You can see how much we've got, almost an entire pint from that two cups of butter, which is what we started out with, so that's great. It's okay if there's a little bit left behind. You can let that solidify, and people in your family who are okay with eating regular butter can use that, so it doesn't need to go to waste. But here's our nice jar of ghee, or clarified butter, and that can be used for anybody who's on the GAPS diet in that particular stage when ghee is introduced. You can store this at room temperature like you would butter if you're going to be using it within a matter of days. You can also store it in the refrigerator for longer term storage. You pretty much just store it and use it as you would butter. I'm going to put lots of different links down below to different resources. I have lots of different blog posts and other videos about the GAPS diet, so I'll put links to those. I'm going to have the full written recipe and directions on my blog, as well as a printable recipe card for how to make the ski, if you want to grab that. I also wanted to mention that I have a free printable GAPS diet kitchen checklist. It is a checklist that just goes over everything you want to make sure that you have on hand in your kitchen before you start the GAPS diet so that you're prepared and it lists some things that you want to make sure you don't use or get rid of. So it's really handy, free, printable. I'll put a link below where you can grab that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to make ghee or clarified butter. If you like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody who you think might like it. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. See you next time. Bye.